everyone uh in today's video we will gonna be doing the math method for simplifying expression so in the previous videos we have exam examined the derivation of a boolean algebra expression for a given function using a table of combination to list the desired function values to derive a sum of product expression for the function so a set of product terms were listed and those for which the function was to have a value one were selected and logically added together to form the desired expression so yeah the table of combination provides a nice and natural way to list all values of a boolean function but i will introduce something to you that you probably know that that is a kind of map which will also permit minimization of the expression but form in a nice graphic way. So the type of map we will use is called the Carnot map. So the diagram in each case, this diagram in each have a, a list that two to the n in a different square. So the n uh, is for the how many variables are there. So like this it's 2 to the 2 because we have two variables and 2 to the 3 because we have three variables and 2 to the 4 because we have four variables so uh yeah given a carnot map form so this this actually if you know panit square it's like a panit square right so we will just gonna yeah put the desired or the desired uh, position for the numbers like for example this it's zero and zero so zero zero uh, this one is ones and zero one and zero so one and zero and this one is zero one so zero one and one 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 so we will uh, in this example we will just use uh, zeros and one but in the later problems we will use uh, variables and in this one we have zero zero zero, which is this zero one zero zero one one zero this one zero zero one zero 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 one zero one 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 and one zero one uh, in this uh, four variable we have four variable which is we have a sixteen cells so zero 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 one zero zero one one zero zero one zero 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 one zero one zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one zero zero one one then zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero and one zero one zero so as you can see we put this number here binary uh this each cell is actually like a room no? and this this thing here is where is the place where we put or a yeah the room number which we will put our our outputs like for example i have an example here uh here we have a three variable problem which has this inputs and we have output so in zero 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 there is a zero output so as you can see the zero 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 is in here so this this thing uh this output will we will put this output here and in uh zero zero one which is one in decimal we have a zero output so we must find zero zero one we have a zero output so we will put it here and the zero one zero which is a two which is this uh yeah so we will put the to to here which is one and now going to the three which is zero one one zero one one is here so we put one here and 
four is one zero zero, which is this one one zero zero, which is this, which is zero. So we put it here. Then the one zero one, which is one zero one here, zero. We will put it here. And the one one zero one one zero, which is here. So we will put one here and. Yeah, the one 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 or the seven in this amount is here, so we will put it here. So it's like a placement or a room number. So I have another example here, which is here. It's a two to the four. We have sixteen cells here because we have four variables, and. So, uh, the first problem in our truth table is the 0000, zero, zero, zero which is the 0, which has an output of 1. So, we will find it here. The 000, zero, zero or the 0, is placed in, in this cell. So, we, we will put a 1 in this cell. And the next one is 0001, zero, 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 which is a 1, binary 1. So, 001, zero, zero, which is here. Which is the output is one, so we'll put the one here. The next is zero zero one zero 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 one zero, which is here. The output is zero, so we'll put a zero here. And the three is zero zero one one, which is zero zero one one, which is here. And the output is zero, so we will put a zero here. And the next one is the zero one zero zero, which is zero one uh zero zero which is here we will put a zero here and the next one is the five zero one zero one which is here so which the output is one so we will put a one the next one is six which is zero one one zero which is here zero one one zero and the output is one so we'll put a one here and yeah and so on this is how we map the output yeah uh yeah but in order to uh make an equation out of this this thing how do we make this a, a equation we will group it so i just wanted to uh point out something no uh in my decoder design uh, uh yeah in the, in the decoder design or any like any stops we were gonna be using this fill order uh, there is actually no fixed fill order for your k map because it depends on how you want to populate it and the kind of truth table your your boolean boolean expression you want to simplify so but in my decoder design we will use this because yeah it's kind of widely used this this fill order so we will use this so now we will group now uh, we will group the we will now go to grouping rules so the grouping rules so uh, in many digital circuits and practical problems we need to find an expression with minimum variables so in using kmap we have to group it and grouping it have rules so the rules is the rule one is uh, our mission in grouping is actually grouping the ones so we neglect the zero so and also our our the true mission is actually get the fewest number of groups possible because if we if we have a lot of groups then we have a lot of variables and if we have a lot of variables then our circuit will get more complicated and yeah will cost more because we need to buy more ICs for it so we must get the fewest number of groups possible so grouping it is no zeros allowed we only group the ones but we can't group it like this we can't group it like that because that is wrong that is a mortal sin because no diagonals are allowed so in this actually we yeah we can group it and like for example this the right way to group it is actually like this 
and here. So overlapping is allowed. Yeah, overlapping is allowed. And everyone must have at least one group. So this actually is, you can group this. Grouping it this diagonally is actually wrong, but you can just group it like this one by one. But yeah, you can group it that, that one and one. But it will the circuit will get complicated if you do it. Yeah, if you group it by itself, so we must group it like this. Uh, you, and in this one, yeah, you can group it like this because it's the only thing. And this, you can group it like this. And in this one, you can actually group four numbers. So, like, so, uh, instead of grouping this like this, You can actually make it more, uh, yeah, simpler, simple, simpler, uh, I can pronounce that. You can actually make it more simpler, yeah, by doing, uh, yeah, by grouping this four here, grouping this four, and wait, I need more light, and so you can actually group this four here and then group this four here so that we the expression will minimize because having three groups is is more variables and more variables means more more circuit will be complicated but having two only which is this and this will get us a nice and simple circuit so one thing I'd like to point out is, you, since we are only grouping one, you can't, yeah, you can't group the zero. So that is wrong. And the this is actually this is you can actually group it like this, like this, which is uh which is nice, but it. You can also get this in a more simple way by grouping this all here and this all here. So that's how you group it. So the first first rule is no zeros allowed. We can't group the zeros and no di diagonals. So only power of two number of cells in each group. Groups should be large as possible. And ev everyone must be in at least one group, so you can't leave a one behind. So overlapping is allowed. Overlapping is allowed. Wrapping around is also allowed. And yeah, the mission is to get the fewest number of groups as possible. So that is the grouping rules of the Karna map. And we will, in the next video, we will then try a decoder. To group our decoder we will make a decoder part for so we can yeah we can see the boolean expression we're gonna construct our circuit so i think that would be all in this video see you in the next one